Hello everybody and welcome back to PlayStation Doom. Today I have a very special video. These are my favourite two levels of all time in any game ever. Of course we have the um, we have the secret level as well which is a really good one but map 29 and map 30 are my favourite levels in any game. I've had excellent memories of this level. Map 29 is my second favourite, and Map 30 is my all-time favourite map. I originally did prefer this level, but over time Map 30 just become my favourite. So many good childhood memories with these levels. Look, there's the Mega Sphere in um, Doom 1. That's pretty cool. Um, let's change all these guys. I've always just loved the lighting, the difficulty, the theme, the layout of this level, everything about it is just awesome. This is also one of the more difficult levels to pistol start. Take these guys down without getting shot. Good, that's the hit scanner's dead. And splash damage is getting me. From all that way away, from being that far away, they still got me. Yeah, before I used to have the, um, or before I knew about the warp cheat, I just used to rush for the entire game just to get to these last two levels, especially this one back in the day. It's just something about this level that I've always loved. It's one of the longer levels as well. For a PlayStation level, it is fairly long. Try and grab these without falling off. It's very easy to fall off there. Okay. We grab this now. This secret took me quite a long time to find, but not the hardest secret on this level. It took me years and years to find um, the secret exit. And it took me ages to actually get to the secret exit. That was stupid. <laughs> when I was very young, I could because the secret exit on this one requires a bit of that like, fast movement, and on doing that under D-pad controller was well beyond my capability back in the day. And that's our last zombie man of Doom 1. We will not be seeing any more zombie men now until um, Doom 2. I've always just loved finding the little details, like finding that that was the last zombie men, there's no more. Because obviously they're very rare from this point on the game. From about, what, about halfway through the game, they actually become really rare. Let's see if I can lure this guy out. Bam! And that's good, that's the area done. This area's got an awesome theme as well. I feel like the shotgun is still up there that can shoot me in the back. So there's a lot of big guys as well, a lot, lots of um, people in general on this level. Quite well, a PlayStation level, anyway. See, it's 205 enemies. That's a lot of enemies. There's a, this here, there's lift. We have a random lift, but it's cool. Oh, this bit's really epic as well. I know a lot of people didn't like this because you have to find this secret here to actually progress to the level. I've always thought it was fairly easy to find, but I understand why some people get angry. If I was able to find it when I was really young, I'm sure the majority of players will be able to as well. This awesome mines bit. 
I don't know, it's like a mine tunnel area. Not quite sure what to describe it as actually. But it looks cool. I love seeing these kind of areas in different levels that people have made as well. Again, I think it's the light end that makes up for it in these areas. Because it's another very basic idea, but I think it's really cool. I love seeing like, this next area we go to as well. It's just a, such an amazing map. But even this level for me doesn't even compare to the next one. Even though this is like my second favourite level of all time. Map 30, or level 30. It's just something else to me. It is just, it's a level that really brings the, the Dune track to life. That track 13. It really brings that to life. guys from over here um, I just finished them off oh I think I killed them all and I landed on this by accident which is not what I wanted to do but do you know what it don't matter I don't think there's no way it's gonna kill me <laughs> this is a cool little tunnel area We've got to get out of here quick. If I could switch to weapons quicker, we'd have been out of there. Okay, the room is here. Another awesome red tunnel area. This bit looks real cool as well. We'll go there later, but for now we're going to finish off the main area. We need teleporting enemies. Whoop, that was close. This is the level that was not afraid to throw the big groups of tough enemies at you. Now we can get souls for here, but I'll be grabbing that in a minute. Another area that I think looks real cool, and I love this bit here where you go around to fight the big guys. Again, this is very shocking for me back in the day seeing big groups of um, tough enemies like this. It's rare, it was really rare. Although this is two barons and two cacodemons. Which is something you'd probably be shocked to see in um, modern levels for being very easy. If a big tough area only had two barons and two cacodemons you'd probably be disappointed these days. Because you're used to multiple cyber demons, archvile, revenant, arachno, man cubeway combos. <laughs> It's a bit, a bit weird that they give you all these bonuses just to give you a mega sphere at the end of it. It kind of defeats the purpose of the bonuses, but I think that's the only complaint I have for the level. <laughs> One of the very few nightmare specters on this map. Okay, another bit where they try to throw some challenge at you. They're not afraid to throw big hordes of enemies at you on this level. If your pistol's starting, once you get to this point where you get the Megasphere and the Soul Sphere, you're not going to have much trouble. But the start of the level can be pretty nasty because you have to kill some of the Barons, or all the Barons at the start with just a regular shotgun or a chain gun. I think there's one more Nightmare Spectre and then in here, yeah, there he is. use a BFG. Nice and any second now you should follow it. There we go. And we're practically done with the level now. Just one more little area to go. Oh my god. I didn't actually know there was a way to get out of here. 
I just walk straight off the edge. I've never actually fallen down there before. Thank God there's not a deathless, well, I mean a, a death pit there. You can actually get out. And here's the rear exit. Bam, done. Now let's go to the other exit. This is such an awesome level for me. It's probably one of the more... It's definitely the most... Or one of the more complex levels in um, PlayStation Doom. But the size, the enemy count, even the design. This looks so good. It won't, it, it won't be that impressive if you... If this is the first time you're seeing it, with all the epic designs we've seen um, these days. Now you have to press, I think it's this one, and you have to run around here. See, when I was when I was really young, that was the most impossible task to do as a kid. It was just impossible. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Just trying to do D-pad around these corners, using them, trying to sort of strafe around as well. It was impossible. I remember being so excited when I actually did it. I thought it was just going to be like a mega sphere or a rocket launcher or something up here as a secret. But when it said exit, I was so happy. I was so, I was really, really happy that I found a brand new level. I remember being so excited of seeing this map. The only problem is it uses the exact same Dune track, but that's not really an issue. I remember just thinking, wow, I've actually got a brand new level I've never played before here. And then, bam, do this. <laughs> it's a Cyber Demon level. It's a really cool level. It's it's basically sort of the same idea as um, Tower of Babel. It's just like a small arena type area with a cyber demon, and you sort of have to move around, and blah blah blah. But I still like it. So one Hell Knight teleports away, and the other one will stay here. Once we kill them two Hell Knights, it's just the cyber demon that is left in this level. There's no other enemy types. And the Hell Knight goes in a cage over here. Let's kill him. One of these teleporters, and I can't remember which one it is, so I'm going to avoid them, <laughs> takes you to a, um, uh, it's a, a death, it's a, an unescapable death trap, that's it, I see it, I'll find it on the level, see if I can find it somewhere, here it is, so you, you spawn in here, and there's a crusher, all you can do is press that switch, and then it's going to kill you, also there's a initials here, I think it's of the person that built the level. Look at all of these um, hooks in here. Well, I've got to be careful. I can hear the cyber demon is getting close. Yeah, this is a cool map. It's like a cool extra level. Whoop, that's another crusher. Let's just kill the cyber demon now. This level also has obviously one thing that makes it really special, and they've done well to keep it on the secret level, I think, and that's the super shotgun. Which is hiding right here. Bam, super shotgun. The mighty super shotgun. So I have to be a bit of a coward here because doing this on the D pad or controller is just not ideal. Just finish them off with the super shotgun. run away. Whoa, he's close enough for you to be. It's actually more terrifying than you'd think. Come on, this guy's got to be close to dying. Did them BFG blast do nothing? I know I wasn't close to him, but there we go. Okay, now we can just exit. And the exit room looks real cool. This is a very rare texture in, in PlayStation Doom. You rarely see this one being used. So it's good to see it here. But well, we still have some things we can do on this map. Once again, I'm keeping away from these teleporters because I don't know which one it is. I don't think you need to use the teleporters to get anywhere. And I think that's it for enemies. So we've got a soul sphere there, but that's one of the teleporters you use to get to that. I think it's. I think I know which one it is, but I'm not even going to risk it. I don't care. I'm not being crushed. I can never remember which teleport it is. It's one of. 
and I don't really want to risk it. And I can't remember how we get to this up here. I'm pretty sure it's this one that gets to the soul sphere, but it, I could be wrong. So I need to go back. You don't need it because there is actually a mega sphere. I think I remember where it is. Okay, yeah, one of the, okay, that makes it pitch black. That's obviously something you don't want to do. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, it's that one. That's how it raises up the bar. I'll go back to way. I'm pretty sure this uh, mega sphere is over here somewhere. In here. Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna head back over here and grab this. This is um for BFG, I think. Which I don't even think I need, but we go there anyway. Oh no, I do need it. Actually, that's just what I need. Am I wandering the long way round? No, I'm not. I went the right way. Good. Good, good, good. You got the BFG 9000? Oh, yes. Okay. Almost headed directly to them teleporters then. The only thing I need to do now is exit, which is over here. This way. <laughs> yep. Good level. Nice and short one. Fun map. Not the best, but I like it. Speaking of the best, this level right here, my all-time favourite. I just loved everything about this level. From I just used to love pistol starting it, playing it around, coming down these stairs um, to fight these guys. This like yellow light in this level uses. I love this. It, the first half of this level sort of starts in a cave, and I love that. It's like a hellish cavern. Just this yellow light in here, it's just, it's so simple, but for me, it, it really makes this level. So there's a pain elemental up there, I'll kill him in a minute. Just, I just love the light, and also this dune track, this is why it's my favourite dune track. Just the memories I've had with this level. It's just, it's amazing, I just absolutely love this map. Oh, the army of specs is spawning behind us. I'd usually be so impressed with the sheer amount of tough guys this level used to throw at us. Yep, just awesome stuff. Okay. Fighting through the tunnels here. I remember once here, it was like a school holiday, and um, I was working way through this bit. It's just these little hallways here, they're so simple, but they're just so cool. I remember once just stopping, and just, I was, it was literally like this area right here. Hey, I'm trying to speak. I stopped right here, I paused it here, and I was just sitting there, to, just, I just sort of had to take it all in for a second how much this level meant to me. Because if you remember I said earlier that map 29 was my favourite at first, but then this level, it, it just hit me at once, that the lighting, the enemies, the music, the atmosphere, the epic hellish design, the fire skies, it was just, I just absolutely loved it. It's one of these games where I think obviously it suffers a lot of limitations from all dooms and obviously it's nothing compared to the details you see in modern games, but honestly less is more, I think that's a very appropriate saying with this when it comes to um, PSX2, less is more. It really built the atmosphere of these levels. And just this area here, it's just, I just remember just loving it. Just look how basic it is, but just this long hellish hallway, it just, it used to freak me out. Just, just how tall it was and how sort of empty it was as well with this music playing. It. Long creepy hallway sort of, just with a vibe it gave. <laughs> just, it's an awesome level. I'm actually using the SSG, which is something I never do. Normally when I play this level, I like to play it how I originally did, with just a regular shotgun, but we use the super shotgun here. This is also very impressive to me, because this is something I've, I've rarely saw, and I don't do it, well, I didn't do it that much in PlayStation 1 Doom either, where you see like, the light in here coming from this light. It, it, normally if there's a, a light in a room, it lights up the whole room. It doesn't normally just 
cover like a certain part of the room. So seeing that these enemies from the dark working their way into the light, I just used to, it just used to appeal to me so much. This is a level that freaked me out the most as well. Out of all the levels. Map 18's music used to scare me, but it's this level that really creeped me out. Just look at this. This it's just so simple, but just the, the way the lights flickering. Oh, it's so cool. This light is also brighter than this one over here. This one's got more of an orangey kind of glow to it. Here's that pain in the mental. There's the other one. There's quite a few pain in the mentals here. I think that's the third or final one here. Just these hallways open up with the pain mentals. It's so good. We'll take this to now. Can walk back through this way. The second half of this map also changes the theme completely. You go from fighting in like these cramped hallways to like this big open fortress area where the real challenge begins with the amount of enemies we face. Triple pain mental threat. Oh, you survived. Did, he, did anyone survive? Is there a pain mental on the wall? This is also the level which it happened to me the most where you'd fight a pain mental in the wall and it was usually this area, this area right here where they would go into the wall. Such an iconic glitch I think. I used to love that. You can actually kill the pain of the lost souls if they go in the wall. You need to use the rocket launcher at the exact right moment and you can actually kill them. At least you could on actual PlayStation 1. Oh man. Theme change again, now we go into the lovely outside area. So the cabin area, this is the side, and then the sort of the um, the fortress type area is that side. The lighting used here is incredible. I'm so glad that they made this level a hell map as well, it didn't use the orange sky, it would not have gone well. It doesn't really make much sense. I guess if you, you guess sort of we've left hell, but this level takes place back in hell for the final one. But I don't care. They're, this level they couldn't have done any better. They went with every right decision. Another area I just used to feel so good, just sniping these guys off in here. There were a lot of hell knights in this next upcoming areas, and I think there's some hell knights that wake up. Wait, did I see one? I thought I might have saw one, but I don't know. And this area, another iconic part of the map. Alright, we want, we want to go this way first. Fire away around the outside. And these cool lighting. Oh, this is so cool. I always used to be about the enemy types as well. Or the amount of enemies you used to face and walking around here facing these hell knights in this big arena. This is a big area for PlayStation 1 Doom anyway, it's just real cool. And the more of them coming from over here. Basically, this is how I imagined what a slaughter map would be like back in the day. <laughs> a PlayStation 1 slaughter map. Obviously, I didn't know what a slaughter map was back then. I didn't even know there was a Doom on PC. I was always console based. And it was the most, it was the biggest disappointment in my life to find out this wasn't actually in PC Doom. But then again, I don't think, without all this lighting, music and atmosphere, I don't think the level would have had justice anyway, so... It's, it's all the PlayStation 1 um, lighting and advantages that really give this level an identity, I think. Another weird way to progress, but I like it. Heard a loud crash, that was me kicking a wall. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would have, my mic would have picked that up. Okay, so um, this is when the level gets pretty crazy. 
there's going to be a bunch of Hell Knights, Lost Souls, and a triple, or is it four? Yeah, there's four Nightmare Spectres around here. Ah, oh, Soul Survivor of your kind. I think you're the last pain, um, Nightmare Spectre here as well. In the whole of Doom 1. Another large area of some Hell Knights out there. So cool. Goodbye. Okay, I think we've killed everyone here for now. These will lower these ones have revealed in more Hell Knights when we're in the next big fight, which is just coming up. Another area. They love throwing us large groups of Hell Knights. So we walk over here. Look at all the amount of rockets they give us though. So these Hell Knights will kill quickly. This level just gives a whole different creepy vibe that none of the other levels give. And this massive group of Hell Knights coming to attack us. I just love the way they come from this dark room as well. You go in here and it's like there's nothing here but the switch. It just used to make me feel like we are actually we are very close to the end now. We've made it this far. It's just, it just has an awesome vibe. And we're back in this creepy hallway. We can now go this way. Unfortunately, we're coming up to the end of this level, which is real sad. Because this level is incredible. I just absolutely love it. Let's just jump through here again so we can go through the tunnel area. With more awesome flickering lights. Ah, oh, we need the ammo anyway. Was that more shells? Yes, okay, let's, oh, I was going to say, let's not fall off, but we did anyway. Doesn't matter, we're back. Whoops. It's always that one lost soul that doesn't wake up. He sort of hides here. Well, we have nothing left now but the final area, and they didn't go out lightly. They didn't go out with no threat. Oh, man, they leave the, the finale... They make the finale the hardest part of this map. I think the right term is they go out with a bang. No, I'm pretty sure you can actually press this switch without needing to get the blue key. Don't know why you want to do that because you're skipping part of the level, but I'm pretty sure you can anyway. So let's go and see the big finale. This awesome arena. Oh, they come the fundamentals already. And this massive group of Hell Knights. This to me was another oh my god moment. I'm used to killing one barrel and a few imps and a couple of demons. What the hell was going on here? <laughs> this used to be terrifying. I need to kill these guys now. Definitely kill the fundamentals. How did you survive that? I think one more BFG blast will be good to get rid of most of these lost souls. You can't get back once you go here, but I don't think you need to. Fingers crossed we've killed everyone that's not spawned in yet. I mean, or everyone has spawned in. Fingers crossed anyway. Doing like these little hidden rooms around the outside. Look at the shape of this, it's so cool. And I love the way they put it so it fits in between the other areas. Oh, this level is just amazing. It's always been my favourite level for. Well, obviously, Map 29 was my favourite level, but ever since I played this map and I sort of stopped and took pulls just to take it all in, ever since that moment. Nothing's even come close to overtaking this level. Just the big finale. This this was a, it's a real tough map back in the day. I really couldn't beat it when I was really young. Really struggled with it. 
but I absolutely loved every minute of it. I've always just loved atmosphere in games, and this to me, an example of a, a game, a retro game at this point, really nailed in the atmosphere. So that, let's let's go. Let's press the final. Let's press the final switch of um, do one. Threshold of Pain, oh man, what a level. Definitely one of the best, well, the best level for me. I don't know if everyone's gonna love it as much as I do. Maybe some people didn't even like it in Doom 1, but for me, incredible level. And ironically, there's a, a Doom Word, PlayStation 1 Doom, um, that someone made, called Threshold of Pain, which happens to be one of my favorite mods of all time as well. So whatever level has this name, Whatever project has this name, it's just going to be incredible. We have one thing last. We have one last thing to check out, and that is this. music. This used to creep me out so much. Can we move on? Alright, let's press the pause. A few things to talk about here. Actually, the first thing to talk about, the music. Oh, that's used to scare me. With that voiceover, obviously something you didn't see on the PC, there's actually a voiceover as well, and it's a really good one, I think. Yeah, the music, the voice, oh man, it's just, it's just it was so creepy back in the day. It really, but it's kind of rewarding when you beat them levels. Next thing to talk about, look, we move on to Doom 2 of all our goodies. So, um, I don't think we're going to be, um, it's not going to be much of a challenge going to these next levels. But, um, we're still playing them anyway, how they're intended. This is how you, um, obviously, it's intended to be played this way because it throws you straight into map um, 31, so it doesn't try to put you back to the main screen like it would do in PC Doom. So, it would, probably was intended this way. And in the next episode, I'll be getting on with um, Doom 2, where we have um, the rest of the levels. Not as many exclusives in this one. There's only, what, three? We've got the final level, which is exclusive, um, the mansion, and the club Doom. The rest of the levels are either Doom 2, well, all Doom 2 levels. Most of well, a big group of them in the later half have been cut, though. So, um, but, um, obviously, I've, they've got Doom 2 here, which is incredible, because... When you look at all the other ports of Doom, there's hardly any on console that actually have Doom 2. I can't even think of hardly any. I always I can think of as GBA Doom, which come out as a separate game, of course. And this one. So um, there's probably more. There's probably one I'm forgetting. But all the other games was only Doom 1, and most of them didn't even have Episode 4. So um, to see Doom 1 and Doom 2 on the same disc is incredible. And these levels, of course, have the added advantage of having the Epic PSX lighting as well. But I'll get more into that next episode. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.